y'all welcome back to my channel so today as promised i'm going to be showing you how we are preparing for hurricane irma so i asked y'all on my instagram if you wanted to see how we are preparing for this possible hurricane it is not set in stone if it's coming or not we don't know but after last year with hurricane matthew we want to be prepared we want to be ready just in case so um if you did not know we live close to the coast of the carolinas and that will probably be the path that hurricane irma takes if she does get any bigger and decides to go towards the bahamas it will probably come up towards us and Hurricane Matthew was only a Category 1 hurricane when it came to us, and it just scarred us for life. So, I think at this point, I think Irma was either, hello, Irma was either a 3 or a 2, Category 3 or 2, and I can't remember what it was. And I think at one point in time, it might even got up to like a 4 or 5. But the last time I checked, it was 2. I don't know what's changed, but Cody looked at his weather last night and it said something about a hurricane coming next Tuesday or something. This is actually going to be like an extra video um, that I just wanted to throw in. So if you guys are going to be possibly getting hit by the hurricane and you want to know how we're preparing and maybe it'll help you a little bit. I wanted to help if I could. I'm just going to go through all of the stuff that we got tell you where we got it from why we got it. <laughs> um, we're not finished yet but this is what we have so far so first we have this big um container that i'm going to put all of the stuff in once i um get it all situated we just got home good so nothing's in here just yet but we did get some waters this isn't all the water we have two more packs of this water this water came from aldi you get a 24 pack for a dollar 99 we also got a 40 pack from sam's club we normally like to get the sam's club water but they were totally sold out so i guess everybody's buying up the water just in case but we got a pack of deer park 40 a 40 pack of that water so we got these two we have that we also have two more packs of this and then another half pack of this so we have enough of water then coming over here i got a gallon of purified water this is going to be for the dogs to drink and i also have another one but this is just going to be easier than opening up a bunch of bottles of water and try to give the dog the dog something to drink so i did get some gallons of water for them the water also came from aldi it was 79 cents then we went to the dollar tree and I picked up some of these candles, which if the lights go out, which is very possible with a lot of rain, limbs get really soaked and heavy and start falling off of trees. Trees start falling down on power lines, <sighs> cutting out your power. So just in case y'all know that I have a lifetime supply of Bath and Body Works candles, but the reason I do not want to use those is because they're all scented and you do not want a bunch of scented candles going for a light in your house. They will run you out of the house if they're really strong. These don't have any scent, I'm pretty sure. It says candle plain white. And I like the fact that they are tall and they are completely glass all the way up. So they're easy to walk around if you need to walk around with the light. I got a couple of these, maybe three or four. I can't remember how many I got, but I thought that was a really good deal. Um, for a dollar a piece they also have candles at walmart i think but they're definitely not in glass and the ones they have in glass are all scented i don't think i've ever seen one that wasn't scented that was in the glass so i like that from dollar tree we also picked up a couple of these handy flames just to if you need to start a fire or something there you go and then i want to say we also grabbed some candy <laughs> because it's non-perishable um and just in case i'll have some halloween some halloween candy if i if i need it now coming over here is where all of the fun stuff is we went to sam's club like i said and that's pretty much like i want to say maybe a costco or something like that i know all around everybody's store is different but it's just pretty much like a big box store so you get like ginormous packs of stuff for you get to save a little bit of money um so we got 40 packs of the lance sandwich crackers this is the assorted pack we pretty much were just trying to pick out stuff that was non-perishable that we could just put in that container over there and just put away um 
Stuff that you can eat without having to warm it up or anything like that. We were trying to make sure we got as much snack food that could just sit on a shelf for as long as possible. So we got that. We also got some flushable wipes. There are 540 wipes in here. I think this was $13. And this is just the member's mark, the Sam's Club one. Um, so if the water goes off and you need to use the bathroom and you need to wipe your behind, you'll thank me. <laughs> Um, this is not, <laughs> this isn't hurricane related, but I needed some more refills. I did not need a wand, but it come with a wand. There's that. If you need to clean the toilet, there you go. But that's, has nothing to do with the hurricane, but I just figured I'd go ahead and show you. We also picked up some granola bars. These are the Nature Valley Oats and Honey. I mean, there's 98 bars in here. And I want to say this was maybe nine ten dollars or so i can't even remember but i've had these they're very good of course you don't have to prepare them or anything it's just a good little thing to to fill you up it's got 16 grams of whole grain in there so it'll be a nice little thing to fill you up without feeling like you're about to starve <laughs> Pop tarts. I know last year when we went to walmart finally when we finally were able to get out of the house with Hurricane Matthew, we were able to go to a town that was a couple towns over to get gas and water and some supplies. And Pop-Tarts is one of those things that we got. And we got them again. <laughs> because it's just easy. It's pretty feeling. Of course, they're not, they're not good for you at all. They're yummy, but they're not good for you at all. But sadly, most of the stuff that is non-perishable is not good for you. So that's just the hard truth. Some batteries. And these are going to be for any flashlights or lanterns. So we got a pack of the double A and we also got a pack of triple A. We also got the <laughs> this is Cody picked this up. A ginormous thing of cheese balls. <sighs> yeah. So there's that. And then we also got this, I think there's 50 count. Yeah. 50 singles bold mix. So there's just an assortment of all different kinds of chips in there. And then I think that was all from Sam's. And we also went to Aldi. Couldn't leave there without the pumpkin spice donuts. Yeah. <laughs> I could have left. What am I saying? I could have left there. But I didn't. Um, we got a loaf of bread. This is the, if I do buy bread, which I hardly ever buy bread. But if I do, this is normally the pack that I will get from Aldi. And this is the 45 calorie slice multi-grain bread by fit and active and then a lot of canned stuff because of course it has a long shelf life and we got some chewy dip chocolate chip granola bars and some chewy dip peanut butter ones the chocolates for me peanut butters for cody then we picked up two packets of this ready to serve rice the roasted chicken and then the long grain and wild rice and the reason i got these were because you only need two tablespoons of water and you heat it and our plan is well, if that were to happen and our lights went out and we couldn't cook then we bought two huge bags of charcoal and we're going to use our grill so we're going to heat any water we need or cook any food on the grill so if we want to boil some water for like these packets of rice we can just throw it in a pot and put whatever it says in it which is water and that's it all you need is water for this and stir it up put it on the grill and there you go so i think that was really easy i was trying to pick up stuff that was going to be super simple that didn't need milk anything that just needed water i was going to pick up if you want to do some ramen noodles you can do that too i also found i don't know how this is going to be but these are the mashed potatoes loaded potato just add water so you just add two cups of water to boil and then you pour this in and that's it so there's that and then we got some packs of tuna we already had some of this tuna this is just the original and it's in the pack something else i wanted to point out was all of the canned food that i got has these pop tops on it and the reason i was trying to make sure i got all of those because our can opener is actually electric it's attached underneath our cabinets so if we needed to open a can i mean we could we'd get in it if we had to but for the most part um, we didn't want to have to buy a can opener just for that. So 
I was picking up all of the ones that had the little pop top on it, which is actually a bunch of them. So I did get some soups. This was the baked potato with cheddar and bacon bits. Then grilled chicken and sausage gumbo soup. Not entirely sure how these are going to be because we've never had them before. We're not big on the canned food. <laughs> canned food thing but hey we've had chef for rd in our day but we've never had this and this is the macaroni and beef i also had the mini beef raviolis yeah and then we got the spaghetti and meatball one and then just a regular size beef raviolis then i got a couple cans of these viani sausages which i'm not eating unless i'm about to starve that's <laughs> that's for cody he can eat those i'm not a fan of those and i also got some cans of fruit i got some fruit cocktail i got some peach slices and also got some mandarin orange slices and that's pretty much all that we have gotten so far we did make sure to fill up my truck with gas we're going to go to town um later on this evening and fill up cody's truck with gas and we're also going to fill up some gas tanks with gas because gas prices have been rising we don't know if it's because of the flooding in houston or if it's just because People are being precautionary and they're buying so much gas that are raising the price. I have no idea, but I know that the gas has gone up incredibly. I think it was 209 when I got it last time and it was 249 when we got it today. And I just got it a few days ago. So it's gone up 40 cents. And we've already sort of made a pact with our friends <laughs> that if the hurricane comes and they're talking about evacuating the people from the islands and from the coast over here, that we're leaving and we're going to their house. <laughs> so they stay like... 10 minutes from my parents house so we're going to them they have a generator we're going to their house we're going to bring our air mattress and all of our stuff and we're going to have a hurricane party because i don't know if i can be by myself if this comes i am just praying so hard that if the hurricane decides to come that i am not here by myself and i don't get stuck here by myself not saying that the lord's not going to be with me and he ain't going to be able to see me through because i know he will but i just pray and hope that i don't get stuck by myself because after last year i just <sighs> last year was something serious so let's just pray that that does not that's not the case and that irma decides that she just wants to stay out there and play in the water and don't want to come up here so we'll see so i gotta get some extra dog food even though we just got dog food i do not want my babies to go hungry so I got to get some extra dog food. We got some new treats. Keep them, keep them company. If you have any suggestions on things that we can get for the hurricane, we do have medicine. We have first aid kits. So we have all of that. If you have any more suggestions on stuff that will help us be more prepared for this storm, then leave them down in the, in the comments. Also helping somebody else out. So not just me, but everybody that looks down at the comments. So leave a comment. If you know anything at all that could be helpful to somebody during this time, leave that little tidbit of information down there to help a sister and the community out. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope y'all stay safe. I'm still praying so hard for Houston. We have donated to Houston already. If you have not and you are able to donate, please do that help somebody because if you needed help you would want it too so always always remember to give back when you can never feel like what you give is not enough no matter what it is if you're just giving period that's fine so hope you have a beautiful and blessed day and thanks for watching when i'll be coming home Then I'll be at your door